Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Avinash and uh, in this video, let's discuss how we can use Grafana to monitor AWS resources. So, you know, Grafana is one of the widely used open source tools to monitor the resources like, you know, uh, EKS or Kubernetes or any containers and uh, like, you know, similar way, we can monitor AWS resource also by using Grafana. In general, we always use Grafana along with the Prometheus. So Prometheus will fetch the data and uh, Grafana will give visualization to the data. So, but here, whenever you want to integrate this Grafana with AWS environment, right, you no need to depend on uh, Prometheus. Instead, you can use CloudWatch as a data source and you can get uh, good graphs. So basically, uh, Grafana is an open source. So a lot of guys contributed. They help us to design a lot of good, um, like, you know, dashboards. So we will explore that uh, in some time. So firstly, there are some prerequisites. So I'm going to launch an EC2 instance and I'm going to make it as a Grafana server. And um, we need an IAM user with access key, AD secret access key who have read access on uh, CloudWatch. So then we will do the installation. All right, so firstly, let's go to instances launch instance and uh, here I'm going to call this instance as a Grafana server Amazon NX 2023 T2 micro is not sufficient basically this Grafana is going to utilize a lot of uh, uh, memory the swap uh, usage is definitely uh, 1 GB is not sufficient so I'm going to take uh, T2 medium or you can even go with the T3 medium that's actually latest generation so I'm going to use an existing key pair. And also, whatever the security group you are going to create, make sure that is open with port number 3000. So the reason Grafana actually runs on port number 3000. So I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to give a valid name. So Grafana SE. Right, let me give the description. Grafana security group. Right. So 8 GB is fine. And if you want to access like, you know, uh, the resources and also you can attach a role. So here you can give like, you know, um, like you can give admin role or you can give CloudWatch read only role. So that's uh, like, you know, if you want to follow least privileges mechanism, obviously go with the CloudWatch read only uh, permission. You are attached to that uh, machine. So I have launched this instance. So let's connect to this instance. So I'm using browser method and um, I'm using Grafana official documentation here. So I'll give this link in our chat box as well. So here install Grafana and my Amazon Linux actually it's under Fedora family, right? So I'm going to use that and uh, scroll down. And here you can see we have to import a GPG key and then we have to add a repo. So without adding a repo directly, if you're trying to install Grafana, so we may not find that uh, package. So let me elevate my privileges to root. Okay, so I'm going to add the GPG key check. So then I'm going to create a repo under etc yum repos.d. So I'm using VAM editor, right. So whatever we have here, the name is Grafana, base URL is rpm.grafana.com. So we are enabling GPG check. Okay. So SSL verify also enable with a certificate. Press escape, colon WQ. So now you just run this command, dnf install Grafana, so that Grafana will be installed and service name is going to be Grafana iPhone server. So let's paste it click on enter so now the installation started yeah it's asking like you know importing gpgk press y enter okay press y to continue Okay, so now the Grafana installation completed. Let's verify the service status. 
so service grafana iphone server you can see here okay grafana iphone server start and also if you want to enable that you can use chk config or you can use system ctl enable grafana server dot service so that after restart also the service is going to start uh, automatically all right so this part is now completed and uh, yeah the required port number 3000 actually not opened yet so now let's go to this security group edit inbound rules add rule custom port and i'm going to open 3000 so you want to open to your network you can use my ip or you give anywhere to open for every any location so then uh, just apply so now grab your ec2 instance public ip address and uh, activate here colon 3000 and uh, we got this login page and default username is admin password also admin and it will enforce us to create a new password so i'm going to set up a password then submit all right so now we have logged in here so as a first thing we have to set up a data source so click on create data source and uh, we are going to use the, the, the widely used one i told you right the widely used one prometheus okay and um, even this amazon or this sorry cloud watch also work as a data source when you click on cloud watch it will ask us okay how you are going to pass the credentials i'm going to use access key secret access key method you have to choose access key secret access key and the default region so for that let me go to iam service navigate to users create user so this user doesn't require any console access grafana iphone user is a username i am giving next and i'm going to attach cloudwatch read only access for this user cloudwatch read only access click on next and create user yeah now the user got created navigate to security credentials go to access keys create access key choose cli confirmation so now click on create access key and uh, yeah we got access key here so just enter that access key here and uh, copy the secret access key and paste the secret access key here and obviously we have to choose a default region and uh, most of my resources are in ap south 1 and i do have resource in ap south 2 as well hyderabad region we'll see that then click on save and test and you see here successfully queried cloudwatch metric api successfully queried cloudwatch logs api so we do have communication to uh, aws environment from this grafana so then click on save and test okay so now go to build a dashboard option so here we have to import a dashboard so click on import dashboard so just click on discard now so you see here to find and import dashboard for common applications there is a url grafana.com slash dashboards so i'm just closing these things now okay so here we have a lot of dashboards you just scroll down and you can search see you can search by using data source as well so our case is cloud watch right so choose data source as a cloud watch and um, yeah you can sort by most number of downloads or you can sort by like you know when last updated average rating okay so you can see here rds os metric has more number of ratings okay let me go with the more number of downloads so yes ec2 has more number of downloads elastic cache has more number of downloads so click on this amazon ec2 for now I'll also show you with uh, load balancer and RDS also. So go to Amazon EC2, just scroll down and here you can see copy ID to clipboard. So there is a ID for this dashboard. So you have to copy this ID. So then go to this import dashboard option, you enter the ID here, then click on load. 
So now you scroll down. So cloud was data source. We already created a uh, have a data source, right? So I'm selecting that. Then click on import. That's it. Now our dashboard is prepared. You can see that here I have multiple instances in Mumbai region. You can see here these are the instances some I have launched some I have like you know ran for some time then I have stopped. I'll do one thing I'll just start one of the machine and I'll use some stress command to put some load and we'll see whether the graph is updating or not. Okay, this is a graph. So now you can expand network details, you can expand uh, disk details, you can expand status checks. All right, so similar way, you want to add uh, any other graph, you do have an option, new dashboard, import dashboard, you can discard here. And uh, yeah, as I told you, I'm going to add, so this RDS as well, Amazon RDS. So just copy the dashboard ID. Now choose the data source, click on import. All right, so here basically the region it's set to default. I don't have any uh, databases in Mumbai region. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to choose my Hyderabad region. There I have a database and uh, we should get that information uh, in some time so yeah so let's verify here my ec2 instance is uh, up and running state let's connect to it and let's uh, install some stress package to put some load okay sudo space i okay switch to root user yam install stress iphone y so now the stress package installed. So I'm running a command stress iPhone iPhone CPU. Basically, it's actually running with one CPU. If you want to know CPU count, you can run npROC command and it has only one CPU. So now um, stress iPhone iPhone CPU, only one CPU, then iPhone iPhone timeout for how much time you want to put load for next five minutes i'm going to put some stress on the cpu all right so now here the graph should update and you can see here the newly launched instance also basically that is ending with f180 so you can even select that yeah you can just select that right so yeah here is the load and uh, you want to change uh, the visualizations okay you want to change the visualizations like you know you want to uh, uh, do auto refresh auto refresh is off you can on and for every 10 seconds this is going to auto refresh and uh, instead of this line or staked area you want to change the visualization you can go to this edit option and uh, you can see here time series you can go with the bar uh, chart or you can go with the start method then you can save dashboard just click on save now you go to ec2 dashboard you can see here this is a ec2 instance its cpu utilization is 27.8 and for every 5 seconds or for every 10 seconds it is going to refresh okay this graph is going to update and this rds1 you can go to RDS and you can see here. So basically it's not a cluster. It's actually a DB instance. You go to instance metrics and you can see here the CPU usage on my database, how many database connections, average storage space. It is using P storage is 18.4, average RAM. So read throughput, write throughputs. So read latency, write latency, everything we are going to get it here. And also you want to add one more, the same process. You go to this and you pick the ID. So for example, I'm looking for my load balancer, CloudWatch metrics. You copy to clipboard and just add a new dashboard, import, give the ID or instead of this ID, we do have an option to download JSON. 
okay you can import the uh, uh, the json template and you can paste it here so import via dashboard json model then click on load yeah just choose the cloud watch as a data source click on import and you can see okay basically i don't have anything on uh, mumbai region but i do have one in northern virginia uh, sorry uh, mumbai uh, hyderabad region and you can see that here there is a target group and these are the http responses how many http responses we are getting so how many uh, connections we are getting everything we can track here so yeah that's how you can monitor your aws resources cloudwatch as a data source with grafana if you find this video helpful please subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, see you again in next video thank you guys Thank you.